Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to configure a POP3 email account in Outlook without SSL. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel AccuWeb Hosting. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of it. First one is you should have incoming and outgoing mail server information. Second one you should have credentials of the email accounts which you want to configure as POP3. In order to configure a new POP3 email account, go to the file menu located on the upper left side of the screen. Click on it. Once you click on it, a new window will be opened with the name account information. Click on the Add Account button to add a new POP3 email account. By clicking on it, a dialog box will be opened with the name Outlook. In the Email Address field, enter the email account which you want to configure as POP3. Here, we have entered AccuTest at DemoVPSTest.com as an example. Go to the Advanced option and click on the down arrow sign. Tick the box. Let me set up my account manually. After then click on the Connect button to proceed further. Once you click on it, Outlook will start a process to provide you a manual configuration section. This process may take 1 to 2 minutes to complete. Once it is completed, you will get a new window with the name Advanced Setup. Select the POP option and click on it. By clicking on it, a new window will be opened with the name POP Account Settings. Under the POP account settings, you will see the email account details which you want to configure. If you think it is incorrect, or you have entered a wrong email account and you want to change it, then click on the link not you. In the password field, enter the password of the email account which is mentioned above. If you want to verify the password which you have entered is correct or not, then click on the I symbol. Click on the Connect button to proceed further. Once you click on it, the Outlook will attempt to configure your mail settings based on the domain portion of your email address. You may receive an internet security warning message that the server you are connected to is using a security certificate that cannot be verified. The target principal name is incorrect. It means that Outlook has fetched incorrect incoming or outgoing server names. Click on the No option to enter the correct incoming and outgoing server name. By clicking on it, you will get a window with the name. Something went wrong. Select the second option Change Account Settings and click on it. Once you click on it, a new window will be opened with the name POP Account Settings. Go to the Incoming Mail section. In the Server field, enter your incoming email service provider's server name in the lower case letter. It may be in the form of mail.yourdomainname.com. Or, it may be in the form of an IP address, 
such as 192.168.2.152. Here, we have entered mail.demovpstest.com as an example. In the port field, you need to enter 110. Untick the box. This server requires an encrypted connection SSL, TLS, because we want to configure a POP3 email account without SSL. Do not tick the box. Require logon using secure password authentication SPA. It is an advanced option. If your ISP requires it then only you should tick the option. It is used to log on by using secure password authentication. Next is the outgoing mail section. In the server field, enter your outgoing email service provider's server name in the lower case letter. Generally, it is the same which you have entered in the server field. Under the incoming mail section. Here, we have entered mail.demovpstest.com. In the port field, you need to enter 25 or 587. Here, we have entered 587 as an example. In the encryption method, you need to select Start TLS option from the drop down list. Do not tick the box. Require logon using secure password authentication SPA. It is an advanced option. If your ISP requires it then only you should tick the option. It is used to log on by using secure password authentication. Click on the next button to proceed further. Here, one more time Outlook allows you to verify the credentials of the email account which you want to configure as POP3 are correct or not. If it is correct, click on the Connect button to configure the email account in the Outlook. It may take a few seconds to complete it. Once it is completed, you will get a message on the screen that account successfully added. Untick the box. Set up Outlook Mobile on my phone too. If you do not untick it, then it will redirect to the Microsoft URLs to download the Outlook Mobile app. If you want to configure it on your phone too, then tick this box. Click on the Done button to lose the window. By clicking on it, the email account will be added on the left side of the screen. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to configure a POP3 email account in Outlook without SSL. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.